Welcome to Docs365 Background Studio, an add-on for creating animated backgrounds. So here is my Google slide. I'm going to create an eye-catching animated background by going to the add-on menu and launching, launching the UI. So here we have the uh, background designer uh, here at the top. At the bottom we have the preview and by default you get this grayish gradient animating from uh, left to right i'm gonna change this a little bit for this demo go here and select another color for the stop color here we make this the bittersweet set current stop uh, say okay and you will see how this gradient changes from animating from this bittersweet to gray and that's kind of it for this first demo i will now create the gif which makes up this animated background that takes a while and it gets kind of big So here is the animated GIF. I can then close this preview and I'm ready to update the slide. I click the set background GIF and close. That will install this GIF image uh, into the slide. It takes a few seconds. So here you have the new animated background in place in the Google slide. Be aware. These bitmaps or images tend to be quite large, so your slide deck will grow. Okay, so that's uh, how to create a simple animated gradient. Let's have some more fun. We can go to uh, symbols over here. And I have actually created my favorite symbols list with the symbol I want to use. I want to use this snowflake. So I can just drag out the snowflake here now and move it around a little bit. I'm gonna pause the uh, preview for a while. It takes a little bit of uh, CPU from the, from the computer. Okay, so I have my symbol. I select I want the look at the properties of this um, snowflake go to animation I want it to slide vertically from top to bottom and I'm gonna move it over here and then I'm gonna copy paste it a couple of times there so I have three snowflakes and then I'm gonna restart the preview And you will see here in the um, preview how they now slide uh, from top to bottom. So that's another way to make your backgrounds more eye-catching is to add objects that slides. You can, let's pause this one again. again. I can actually select all three of them, go to uh, rotation, and I want to animate them making a full 360 uh, rotation and restart the um, rotation and you will see how they rotate on their way down here pause this again we can have more fun with the gradient itself I can go back to the gradients here and say I want to I want to choose a predefined gradient. I can pick from a large set of gradients here. Let's go to this uh, Monte Carlo. And this looks like this. I can make this a radial gradient instead. Move the center to the top and say OK. Then I'm going to copy this one as the end gradient 2 and go in and edit it and I can in this case I can reverse the colors and 
move the um, center point to the bottom left corner instead. And now the uh, if I resume the the um, preview, you will have this kind of a somewhat strange looking eye catching background. So let's pause this again. And then you go through the process again. You create the GIF and you uh, set it as the background of your slide. And here you have it. My uh, strange snowflake dropping gradient background installed as my slide background. Okay, another important thing to know is how to control the length of the animation. You go to properties uh, and if the document is not selected, you go here and say you want to do document properties. And you have two tabs, uh, one for the uh, size of the background and one for the animation. And here the default is five seconds long and 10 frames per second. So that's important to know. I'm just going to show you one more trick in this demo. That is how you can animate arrows. Let's say I want to use an arrow to really highlight something that's always at the same place on the slide. So I'm going to put this uh, arrow here. I'm going to click, right click and say this is the end shape. Then I'm going to go uh, move it over here. And as you can see down here, this is how it's going to look like in the animation. And then I can go to properties. I want the fill of this uh, arrow to be, we can pick some other color here. Let's pick something from the Crayola set here. Let's pick this bittersweet one again. And go to animation. I want the animation to end at this brownish color instead and say, click on animate enable the animation and then it's going to animate back and forth from that reddish to that brownish and then you do the same thing again you create the the gif and you install it as the background so that kind of con concludes the demo of Background Studio. Uh, enjoy!